for the people that just came in the stream, you now tuned in to Chief Save Indigenous. Higher, 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 higher power back in the booth. You know. Society paints their pictures, right? Society paints their pictures, right? Society paints their pictures, right? Build a Society paints their pictures, right? Created a whole concept called black and white. Eugenics in the globe is how we live it, right? The caste system, modern day in plain sight. Due diligence, due diligence, due diligence, fuck that. I'm John Dillinger, I lay a pig with his cuss flat. Behind the sentence, I know I will receive much flat. But I'm the type of dude, if I said it, I meant that. Build a wall, build a bridge, I'm building with tough cats. Never building in the bird like a general with a tough hat. Send a nigga, any nigga, get him whacked for a dope hat. I ain't even in the streets no more, I'm building on that. But, see, Nova Drew Ali brung that term for a certain group of people at a certain time. Look at 1913 AD. That's after death. So let's call it 1913 Christian era, CE. You get what I'm saying? Because we, you know, it's, 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 it's up for debate whether Jesus died or not. In some groups, it's up for debate. It's up for, and I don't want to debate. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep it all cool and calm and collective and just call it what it is. 1913 CE, which is Christian era. Okay. So, what was going on? So my audio is breaking up. It's cool. Y'all can still hear me, right? Let me know. The first time y'all can't hear me on something, y'all just let me know. Sheena Miles, peace, sis. I'm going to make sure you get your wrench. I'm not on the YouTube app. Check tap back in make sure your notifications are on all the next time we go live i will make sure you get your wrench we wrenching stuff up in here we all big speakers we all gonna bring this knowledge yourself now check me out that means when i say you're gonna get your wrench i'm gonna make you a moderator in my channel but right now i'm not on the youtube app i'm streaming from another app now i gotta repaint the picture for y'all that's been inside the stream there's new people coming in the stream that's why i'm reiterating the things I've already said, but y'all know how I teach. Y'all know, y'all know my methods, so y'all just rock with me. But everybody has to be in the same setting for this beautiful story that we're painting, and the where we're at right now, y'all. For the new people that just come in the stream, we're not in 2020 right now. We took it way back. We're inside 1913 A.D. We're inside the mind of Professor Drew, A.K.A. Noble Drew Ali, A.K.A. the Prophet Noble Drew Ali. I'm not a member of the Moore Science Temple of America. I don't never have been or anything, but I am a student of Nova Drew Ali, y'all, and I'm not a Moore. You know what I'm saying? I'm indigenous. It's Chief Sabi indigenous. Higher, higher, higher power back in the booth. You know what I'm saying? So check me out. Now, y'all see I got my little professor chair outside too, right? You know what I'm saying? It was, it was like everything, everything happened for a reason. Now, check me out, though. For real, for real. Let's get back serious. Let's get back real serious. Now, um, 1913 A.D., 1913 A.D., we have soapbox teaching method. Now, I compared, we're making a comparison between 2020 and 1913 A.D. Right now in 2020, I'm on my soapbox. Just because I'm not standing on an actual soapbox and proclaiming out in the streets, doesn't mean I'm not on my soapbox. You get what I'm saying? We're on the appreciate it, appreciate it, money, love. Let me know my audio good. Thank you so much, love. Um, the soapbox teaching method, what they would do, they would go to a very public place in a very high traffic street, y'all. This is all master teachers of their day and era from Noble Dry Lead to uh, uh, Marcus Garvey to all the rest of them, Father Time to anybody even the caucasians like this is what we got to realize the mormons the these people everybody used to go to a very public place and in, in very public city chicago was the like the culture zone back then atlanta was the culture zone back then so they were in these type places jersey chicago new york atlanta um there wasn't no cultural awakening no consciousness going on out here in texas at that time you get what i'm saying Okay, okay, American Indian by blood. Peace, baby. What's good? So check this out. So the soapbox teaching method, they would get a box, an empty crate, and set that box down. A black mind was good. 
was great. I am back and I'm better than ever. I'm in rarer form. I'm in rare form, brother. Like, for real, for real. Stay tuned. Make sure you got your notification bells on all because I didn't drop 50 videos. I dropped 50 videos between December and January, and I'm just now seeing my brothers back in the chat. I'm just seeing you. I'm just seeing um, Louis Beast Bilderberg. I'm just seeing Jack. I'm just seeing... Um, In a long time, but y'all back now. It's great to have y'all in here. You now tuned in to Chief Sabian Disney's higher, higher, higher power back in the booth, and we ain't leaving out the booth no more. So check me out. Um, anyway, make sure y'all check out the playlist. I got playlist. I got the playlist of my 2020 bills, which are the live streams. I got the playlist of my music, which is conscious rap. You know what I'm saying? Conscious, what I like to call it, just conscious music. I don't like to call it rap because you know what I'm saying I'm not a rapper, but um. And also, I got my playlist of my podcast. I got a podcast on Spreaker. I got a podcast on Spreaker app and Anchor app. So anyway, check me out. Check me out. Oh, yeah, and my gang stalking playlist. Check out my gang stalking playlist because it's something that we all experience and a lot of us are unaware of it. All right. Right now. So my bad. I'm rocking, y'all, because I'm really not in 2020, but I'm seeing my brothers and sisters come in and I have to greet them. But right now, we're way back in 1913 AD, and we're painting a picture of soapbox teachers where they used to stand on top of a crate and say, Attention, you Negroes, you colors, you African Americans. We are not what they say we are. We are this, we are that. And they talk, oh, this isn't your religion. This is this is what they talk. The same thing we're doing right now on YouTube. We're getting on top of a social platform. So, to be a here, and we're declaring truth as we see, as we see it. Do you get what I'm saying? So we're soapbox teachers. Just rock with me. This is the soapbox culture. You know what I'm saying? As far as the teaching method, we didn't invent it. We didn't invent it. Yeah, YouTube came. It's new. Social media is new, but we didn't invent this stuff. For real, for real. We didn't invent it. All right. Check me out. This is soap book, soapbox culture. So anyway, um, he defined us as more. When you look at the term more, you get a bunch of stuff about ships that pop up. As far as like mooring a ship, dropping your anchor. You get um, a moor, which is bayou. Bayou. A bayou is basically like a... Uh, what do I want to see? Picture some woods, a wooded area, right? But picture instead of dirt being there, it's nothing but water, and you can sink in there and die. Like it, when you see, when you hear like slavery talk and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You got niggas. You, I mean, excuse me. You got um, escapees or whatever you call it. But y'all know slavery didn't exist in the form they say it did. But you know what I'm saying? We're gonna use just use the terms because we're building so. We're going to break down some stuff, but everything can be broken down in one video. So, um, in one stream, I mean, pardon self. So, um, the bayou is basically like a swamp. Oh, it's a swamp. The bayou or more is a swamp area, like a heavy wooded area, but you can't run through it because it's water and your ass will sink and die, quicksand and that type stuff. Alligators and that type stuff. It's the southern, like, you get it more in Louisiana. We don't really got it out here in Texas. I don't know if any other place got it, but you got bayous in Mississippi and Louisiana. Like, real bayous, like alligators and crocodiles and stuff. Anyway, so that's the definitions. You get more, as in with a ship. Then you get more, as in a bayou. As in a swamp or a bayou. Sorry, y'all. If you see me lifting up my hand like this, it's because the screen is very light. I'm not on the YouTube app, so I'm trying to see how many viewers we have in here. I'm just checking. Just checking. It doesn't matter. As long as there's two or more, we building. As long as there's two or more, you can build. You can hold just two or more. All right. So the first definition or term you get for more would be, um, the first definition or term you'll get for more would be, something to do with ships as far as like setting anchor dropping anchor then you would get a bayou or or a swamp or something like that of that nature then then the definition would say 
a member or I'm no longer homeless, y'all. I'm you know what I'm saying, I'm tiny home living, you know what I'm saying? I'm living on the land and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm it's beautiful, y'all. But anyway, uh, I don't know if y'all can see my background, but it's beautiful where I'm at. I don't know about y'all, I'm not in the city limits. You know what I'm saying? I'm just living out here in the beautiful in our land, in America. This is America that don't got you tripping up. The third definition you would get is one of the people who invaded Spain in 7-11 or the 8th century. The 8th century is 7-11 AD, right? Now, here comes a person. First, you got a thing. You got a thing which was mooring a ship. You got a place which was the bayou or, or the swamp. That was the place. Now you got a person. So we see that it is a noun. So the word more is a noun. The word more is a noun. All right. But it's kind of cool. It's a nice little breeze coming and stuff. It feels good. I really was just chasing that sun, trying to get some sunlight, getting my energy back. Hey, be on the lookout for my... I know everybody drops topics about the hair bend antennas, but y'all know I... All right, all right. Okay, okay, cool, cool. We back building. Let me see. Okay, I got a good signal right here. Cool. I'm out the wind again. Cool. Got my coveralls on. Cool. All right. So we went to 7-Eleven. Let's fast forward back to 1913 AD. Why would Noble Drew Ali bring that term out of any other term he could have used for our people? Why would he say... You are Moors. Why didn't he say, you know, they were already using the term Negro back then. They were already saying color. They weren't using the term black. So let's keep it all in, in perspective. They weren't using the term black yet. Oh, yeah, they yeah they were. Yeah, they were. They were using blacky and black black folk and stuff. So, yeah, they were using the term black. Excuse me, pardon self. So I want to keep it all in context. So they already was using black for us. Am I offline or online, y'all? Somebody comment in the chat. If you can still see me, comment in the chat. Let me scoop my chair up some more. Catch some better signal. I ought to just use my tripod. Let me know. Let me let me know, because I don't want to be um talking. Okay, Fanny Mil uh, Milianus. Okay, okay, I'll make sure you get a wrench, too. Everybody's going to get a wrench. This is my tripod I bought, y'all. Like, every once in a while, I get to treat myself. Okay, we see and hear you. Okay, good. This is my tripod, y'all. I just got this yesterday, and I got this selfie stick yesterday. This is what my... Listen, these other content creators, they're ahead of me in technology. They're ahead of me. They got computers and all all, all that type stuff. I don't have none of that. Millionness. Okay, okay, millionness. Okay. So I got a little tripod. I got a little cheap tripod. I have a phone, a new device, which I'm very thankful of. I bought that myself also. I bought a tripod. And I got a um, selfie stick. I don't have a laptop. I don't have any of that. So when you see me not creating content, and when I say content, I mean these slideshow videos that everybody likes to put up, which I see is nonsense. When you can get me live and question me about anything and everything right here. You know what I'm saying? It's live. Like... There's nobody else that you can do that to. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody else on the internet that you can question about anything live. Y'all can ask me stuff right now while I'm building. Like, I, it won't be a distraction. For those that's new to my stream, it, it's never going to be a distraction, y'all. Y'all can question me about anything and everything. But anything, I want to show y'all this um, tripod I got. This thing is really cool. Literally. I can make it sit anywhere. Y'all see how it's wrapped? Let me turn my my stick. Y'all see that? Like I can I can set up the camera right here. Like it's cool. Like it's a really cool tripod. You know what I'm saying? I I don't have to sit it down on the ground. It wraps around things. It's a GoPro tripod, but it works for my cell phone. I'm not endorsing this tripod or anything. They don't pay me to endorse it. 
yeah, if the frames drop, y'all don't worry about it. Don't leave the stream. If the frames drop, don't leave the stream. We still here. All right, now, um, anyway, enough about the stupid tripod. No, I'm playing. I'm just happy, y'all, because I don't have funds and stuff. So I'm, I'm happy when I can buy stuff for my channel, you know what I'm saying, to help, help my channel. You get what I'm saying? Because I don't have any, you know what I'm saying, supporters and stuff. But I get people to support my content by coming to my streams, and I love y'all, and I appreciate that. You get what I'm saying? But I'm saying, like, I'm just letting y'all know that in the background, I am trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to get the channel back jumping how it was. But y'all know I did that all off of iPhone 7. But we back now. I took a year break. We back. Went through the most hell that I did in my life. So anyway, this is my tripod. So sometimes I'm be streaming on my tripod. Right now I'm on my selfie stick. Anyway, that's just a break. I just took a little break, y'all. I'm going to go back in. I've been building for an uh, hour and 21 minutes, y'all. So y'all bear with me. For those that's rocking with me, y'all know we've been dropping jewels up in here. Check me out. So we went to 7-Eleven. First we went to this dictionary. We seen inside the dictionary. Make sure y'all hitting that like button. Moderators, make sure y'all telling them to hit that like button. Make sure y'all telling them to hit that like button while you're in here. I mean, when they come in, when y'all see new people pop in, uh, make sure you tell them to hit that like button for me. Y'all, my bad. But um, check me out. What am I going to say? Okay, we looked inside the dictionary. We seen the three de definitions of the term. A word more. We didn't look it visually, but you know the dictionary is right here. So we seen the the swamp, we seen the ships, and now we see the people. So we know that these people inside the dictionary invaded Spain. So that's a specific people. That's a specific people we're talking about from a specific geo geological geological location. That's a specific people of a certain culture, a certain background, a certain people. Not all people. Everybody, the whole, everybody that was brown didn't say, hey, let's go get Spain, little bitty Spain, this big. Everybody didn't do that. We're talking about specific people. Now we're fast forwarding from 7-Eleven. Now that we identified the people through use of the American Dictionary, Oxford, by the way, I, I use Oxford Dictionaries. When I do have a dictionary, I love Oxford, y'all. Oxford, to me, is the best dictionary. I don't know. Some people use Webster's, and I use Oxford. For real, for real. But um, check me out. And I like the older the dictionary, the better. The older the law books, the better. The older any book, the better. The first editions and stuff like that. So anyway, we went from the dictionary. That's using our compass. We identified the three types of more. We see that one of them are people. We identified their ge geological location a geographical my bad i don't know what the hell i was trying to say geographical location and we we see that they're in a certain little area now also in the dictionary i must state this before somebody get on here and say no brother you missed the whole concept i know they mentioned mauritania i also know that the mauritania that they mentioned isn't the same mauritania of this day and era People don't know that. They sleep on that fact. The Mauritania they speak on in the dictionary no longer exists. That is Algeria, Tunisia, and Morocco. Look it up. Now, it's something. Like, we finna go in, y'all. Just, just rock with me. Rock with me. We finna go in. Money love. If you can, text mama and let her know that I'm on live. I can't answer the phone. Do that for me. I can't answer the phone while I'm on live. And... It's cool. I'm going to shower once I get to your house. I was just trying to shower earlier this morning, but I'm going to do it over there. I already put on some old coveralls, and I'm thugging today right now. We on streaming live. My bad, y'all, for the personal incursion. But check this out. So also in the dictionary, my bad, it, 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 it defines a place also. It says Mauritania. That Mauritania is not the Mauritania that's on the map right now. That Mauritania was ran by Romans. Check me out. Check me out. Just look it up. Look it up, y'all. Like, I don't... It was ran by the Roman Empire. You know what I'm saying? That was North West Africa. That was Northwest Africa. That Mauritania does not exist anymore. There's a Mar Mauritania that's lower, more Western Africa now. But the Mauritania that the dictionary is talking about, it's talking about Tunisia, Algeria, and Morocco. Just facts. Look it up. So, anyway... Now, 
oh yeah y'all y'all like i'm really with it i'm really with it you know what i'm saying like i really got it it's already here i don't gotta go to google wikipedia and all that you know you're now tuning in with t saving and disney hi yeah hi yeah hi yeah power back in the booth but check me out for real for real check me out check me out now we gotta know okay we talked about the person the place the thing now why now let's fast forward it back to 1913 why would Timothy Drew. Timothy Drew, my bad. When I told y'all his birthday, um, it's been a long time. It's been a long time, so my bad. It's in a one on one, though. Um, the Houthi indigenous God, the word more and more means the high priest of a new, the newest quintus God, which means mine got more and more and more, et cetera, came from America. That's cool, brother. That's cool. That's not where we're at with the lesson. Make sure you had a notification bell on all, because I'm going to do a build on that, y'all, and I brung forth that. Check out my. Look, matter of fact, I don't know how to pronounce that name. I don't I don't deal with other languages. I speak English, me myself, in Spanish. But um indigenous God, I'm gonna call you that. D Huti. If that's cool, if that's a good pronunciation. De Huti, Indigenous God. Check out my Christopher Columbus video. Check out my Christopher Columbus video and you'll you'll know I'm on the same page with you right there. But that's not where we at in this bill. This bill right here is for a different matter. But you can stay tuned, but just check out my Christopher Columbus video and look at the date on it and see that I was already there. Where you at? I was already there. And you know what I'm saying? And I'm still there and I'm still gonna kick many flavors. I'm talking about they're gonna drip so much flavor on them jewels. I'm gonna drop about that topic right there that you just said. But at the same time, that's not where we're at in this bill. Right now, we're just trying to clear up the confusion in that, my brother. I feel you, my bad. No, 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 you perfectly fine. I'm going to get you a wrench, too. Make sure you got your notification bells on all. I'm not on the YouTube app. I'm streaming from, uh... Cool, cool. See, you see what I'm saying? Like, you brought it from that topic now. My brother defending his people, you know what I'm saying? He's the... My brother Clifford Clark is a strong American brother, so... And I don't want y'all... You get what I'm saying? Arguing in the chat. Y'all good? Y'all good. Don't even worry about it. Y'all don't even build past that. Right now, we're in 1913. We didn't bring it from... We didn't went from 1913 to 2020 to 1913 to 2020 from 1913 to 7-11. Then we're back in 1913. So y'all just rock with me. But the brother made a good point. Just y'all, if y'all haven't seen the Christopher Columbus video, check it out and just know that everything's coming in existence. I'm here to make a unity through this. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm here to form a unity out of this dissension because it shouldn't be a dissension when either way Noble Drew Ali was kicking that indigenous flavor way back then you get what I'm saying so just rock with me and I'm show and prove that I'm show and prove how Noble Drew Ali was pushing that indigenous culture way back then so y'all just rock with me y'all it's all good it's all good yeah 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 you know yeah yeah you yeah, ain't a more like I don't consider myself a more I don't consider it but we're not going to get on that topic, y'all. We, we good. We good in the chat, y'all. Everybody good. Just check out my other content, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm a historian on the matter, y'all. So I'm never going to say anything incorrect about it. You know what I'm saying? But um, check me out. Anyway, I love you all. Peace, y'all. Y'all can do. Matter of fact, yeah, I, I ain't never going to call myself more either. But look, y'all can. Matter of fact, I, I don't got no business saying y'all can't. Do it in the chat, man. Y'all go at it in the chat if y'all want to. Cuss each other out and everything. Nobody's going to get blocked. The chat is open. We got an open build up in here. So if y'all get a side conversation on, it's cool. I'm not even reading the chat no more, y'all. Just make sure, hey, I'm going to cut it on every now and then to see if any new people come in here. But I got the chat off because, you know, I'll get inside the topic too. But that's y'all topic. Clifford Clark, uh, Indigenous Guy. Y'all go at it inside the chat. But just rock with me, y'all, and just know that everything comes in full circle. You get what I'm saying? But right now, we're trying to figure out. What made Noble Drew Ali? Okay, I, we're back from 7 Eleven. Boom. We know that Mauritania, Mauritania is not the place Mauritania on the map right now. Mauritania was an empire of the Romans, it was part of the Roman Empire. Look it up. I just cut the damn chat off. Isn't a descriptive term? Isn't it a descriptive term more? How the hell the chat keep popping up? Boy, y'all want it. Y'all want me in the chat bad. God dang, I guess they don't take off the chat. Okay, I thought I took off the chat, y'all, but uh, I can't take off the chat. So anyway, I'm just going to try to ignore you know, No, I ain't going for that. 
Yeah, y'all, y'all, yeah, y'all good, man. Uh, I, I'm ignoring the chat though, y'all, cause I know, man. I wish I could be in the chat with y'all. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like I, y'all know, I, I want all the smoke. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who I'm for. I'm for our people. You know what I'm saying? It's Chief Sabi Indigenous, higher, higher, higher power. You know what I'm saying? Indigenous, Aboriginal, original inhabitant of these parts of the plain we call Earth. So you know what I'm saying? So, but you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, y'all. So check me out. I, I'm trying not to look at the chat, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep looking at the sky, y'all. But y'all know I love, I love building and I love topics so much, y'all. I wanna jump in the chat with y'all. Nah, nah, y'all good. Keep on building. It's just like, it's that, it's that inner child in me wanna hop in the chat and be like, nah, well, well, how about this? How about this? You know what I'm saying? But that ain't my. I gotta stick to the storyline. I'm, I'm tired of leaving y'all with like half answered bills and stuff, y'all. So my bad, y'all. I get distracted too. You know what I'm saying? Let me light me another cigarette and focus on this bill. Oh, I want to get inside that conversation, though, y'all. We're going we're gonna to get it. We're going to get it in, y'all. That's what I'm saying. Make sure y'all got y'all notification bells on. Hey, we're going to get it in. Open chat. Rock with us. Chief Sabian being business. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Yeah, indeed, indeed, indeed. We got the open bill going on. Okay. Um, in a second, I'm going to have to jump up and go get my charger because we ain't going nowhere today. We ain't going nowhere today. We're going to keep building. It's indigenous realists. Hey. Y'all know I'm going to shake the foundations of when I'm in the building. Y'all know what I'm saying? As soon as I step in the stream, the show's over. Hey, what did I say on that song? Y'all remember that song I got? Uh, what did I say? Chief Sabi. I said, indigenous realists back in the game. Grab a new controller. I'm not in Lubalati. You. Oh, wait, I said, grab a new controller. I don't know what I said, man. I said, Master Mason, but I'm not Illuminati. You can keep the hover. More like Christ Jehovah. Want to bring peace the world over. Won't we'll never let it. Yeah. No matter. I said, won't we'll never be disrespected. No matter what the devil throws over. As soon as I step in dude's stream, the show's over. Don't believe in luck, no four clover. Yeah. Hey, sis, you look beautiful today. Thank you. Look, she on that smile, all right? You trying to come here? You on, you on live? Yeah. I'm trying to skip your live. Oh, okay. I'm going to make sure you're going to get on the camera. All right, all right. Whoop. So, look. Isn't that? Oh, yeah, y'all keep on bidding. Empress Cali. Hey, 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 peace. I'm going to make sure you get your wrench. Make sure you got your notification bells on all. I'm going to make sure you get your wrench. Empress Cali, thank you for tuning in. You now tuned in to Chief Sabian Disney. It's higher, higher, higher power back in the booth. For real, for real. So, but right now we're in um 711 AD, right? We're in 711. Oh no, no, no. We're not in 711. We're in 1913. And we're trying to get inside the brain of Noble Draw Lee and see why did he define our people as Moors? What made you do that? We didn't love ourselves. We didn't know ourselves. We were deaf. We were dumb and we were blind. The triple stage darkness inside the mind, right? So what he did by establishing the movement, the organization, if you will, of the Moorish Science Temple of America or the Moorish Holy Temple of Science or the Canaanite Temple of Science, whichever one he started first, whichever one, y'all know what it is. So when I say MST of A, I'm speaking of all three of those groups because they were all established by Noble Drew Ali somewhere around 1913 AD until present time you get what I'm saying all right cool y'all keep building in the chat y'all that's good because it's keeping the chat movement and that's actually good for my channel that's actually good for our channel you get what I'm saying so that's good y'all keep the chat rolling don't I ain't moderating nobody don't block anybody nobody don't delete no comments y'all keep it rolling the the wrench is a membership y'all I don't have a, a million subscribers, so I can't give out mil, uh, memberships. But when I give y'all moderator status, that's for your membership. You get what I'm saying? You're now a member of my channel. Rock out. So, um, I'm talking about every time, I, every time I go live, I want to see the whole chat blue. I want everybody to have a blue wrench. You know what I'm saying? Because we all, we all builders. Now, check me out. Everybody got to have their tools. Everybody got to start off with some kind of tool inside their tools belt. You know what I'm saying? All right, check me out. All right. Monica, Monica on here, too. Money, love. Mm-hmm. Can't really make it do My bad. I got to stay up out there chat and stay on topic. Okay, I'm, I'm all in the chat reading what they got. They inside the chat debating. I'm trying to...
come to y'all like this that's what's needed that lets me know that y'all really students y'all really study us like not of me but y'all really study on y'all own time like y'all ain't going for it. like my brother cliff clark said i ain't going for it hey brother uh dehuti and business guy say hey i'm you get what i'm saying and that's great i love to see that y'all and um as soon as i figure out a system where i can bring people onto my stream y'all y'all welcome everybody is welcome just not right now i'm only on the cell phone and the selfie stick capiche all right let's keep going now, what made Noble Drew Ali define us as Moors? We had no knowledge of self. So what he needed was a unification point. A banner, if you will. Like that so-called Moors Holy Flag. Which was the red flag with the green five-pointed star on it. Which was only the cherry tree that Abraham Lincoln or George Washington. Whoever chopped down a cherry tree. Whoever, Honest Abe or Honest George. It was just that cherry tree. You get what I'm saying? It was just that cherry tree. Yeah, Christopher Columbus was a half, was a half blood. But anyway, I'm out that chat, y'all. I'm out y'all topic, man. So anyway, I had to create a banner, a unification, no other purpose. But we go to second and third because if the banner man falls, somebody else got to be the banner man. So that banner man was the unification point of the war, of the battle, saying, "Hey, everybody, this the safety zone. Y'all play Fortnite or any of those type games, like." You got the safety zone. So that banner man. So what Nova Dry Lee did, what Marcus Garvey did with the UNIA flag and things of that nature, what he did was he wrecked a unification point. He didn't want to use the titles in the, um, yes, the original people are the, okay, okay, y'all getting it in. Okay, y'all getting it in. Y'all keep getting it in in the chat. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Let me see. I got to adjust my selfie stick. So I can catch the signal a little better. Okay, I think I'm catching a little better signal. My bad. Point because he didn't want to use the dirty terms that they had put on us. They were trying to call us black, which we know is according to science only means death. They were trying to call us Negro, which is just a dirty river in Africa. They were trying to call us African Americans. Did you? Did anybody ever catch the t the point that Noble Drew Ali didn't call us African? He even said that that country was African. I mean, that country, whatever y'all want to call it, that, that sand over there, redefined that. Box. He said it was called a Mexum. You get what I'm saying? So he didn't want us affiliated with that term, and that's a key point. That's something Karimi Ohio couldn't appreciate because he doesn't come from the same background that we do he's a culture vulture he doesn't come from our background he's not part of our culture he is a south american hispanic who is trying to leech off of our community y'all just notice who y'all just notice who you're supporting this is a south american leech his people are he, he's descended from the conquerors he's not descended from the conqueror you get what I'm saying? I'm just saying. I'm not I'm not shooting slugs. I'm not any of that. I'm just keeping it 100. Kareem Ohio couldn't appreciate the fact that Noble Drew Ali was the first person to say, hey, y'all not from Africa. Everybody sleep on that fact. Everybody sleep on the fact that Noble Drew Ali openly declared that his mother was Cherokee and that he grew up on a reservation. Indigenous anyone? Like, y'all sleeping on these facts. Everybody's sleeping on them facts. But I know why Karimio does it, because he's just a culture vulture. He's way out there in South America. He thinks he's part of the white privileged class. And he doesn't come from our background and our, our struggle. He can't communicate with us in the way he does, in the way we can. He doesn't know anything about the peas. He doesn't know anything about the food we eat. and neighborhoods and blocks and territories and stuff. All he knows about is Google and Wikipedia, and I'm going to expose that. I'm telling you, I'm going to expose that. I ain't going to be cloud chasing or nothing. I'm just going to, I don't like culture vultures. And check me out. Okay. So what Noble Drew Ali did with that term more. Now remember, Noble Drew Ali was a traveler. He was in a circus when he was younger. He was a magician for the circus when he was younger, y'all. He traveled all around the world. Racism is prevalent right now. 
They still call us niggas. We can't drink out the same places they do. We can't go in the same places they do. Buses weren't even existent in existence in in the days of Nova Ali. Did y'all know that there wasn't even no buses? So Rosa Parks them they didn't, they weren't even important back then. Sitting your nigga ass on a bus wasn't even important back then. Now check me out. Check me out. Check me out. It's really this door. Whenever the door swing, it's like a signal go back. Get it more outside. Check me out. <laughs> so, what he did, remember, remember, I'm, I'm always pointing out, y'all, I said the greatest thing that we can do is redefine self. We can redefine ourselves. Stop taking on the terms that people put on us. He didn't want us. He knew he was a master etymologist, right? So he knew the term black. He knew what it meant. He broke it down to the science. We see that black goes back to Negro, and we see Negro goes back to Necro. So when you hear him say black according to science means deaf, he's actually being literal. And people say black doesn't mean deaf according to science. Yes, it does. Black comes from the word Negro, and Negro comes from the word Necro in Greek. That's the oldest form of that word is necro, which we know necropolis, which is a burial city. We know necro means death. You get what I'm saying? Black is the color that we all turn when we die. You get what I'm saying? That's anything that's living. When it dies, it turns black from the whitest, whitest, whitest flower. Y'all thought I was going to say white person, huh? There's no such thing. From the whitest, whitest, whitest flower. From the most yellowest lady. Uh, yellow, yellow is butterfly from the reddest ladybug anything that's alive when it dies it turns black after rigor mortis sets in and it begins to deteriorate it turns black and that's where you get the word necro from that's where you get necro from so what I'm saying when we say black according to science means death is literal that literally means death because that's the things that all things just dead turns into. Capra, peace. Great to have you up in here. Hit that hit that um, subscribe button and turn your bell on all. And when I get on the YouTube app, I will make you a moderator in this channel. What that means, you'll have a blue wrench. I'm not on the YouTube app right now, but you'll have a blue wrench. I already promised the other people, but if y'all rocking out 2020, you like the things you're hearing, come back. Turn your notification bell on all. So check me out. We've been in here an hour and 44 minutes, y'all. This is light work. I do this all day if I have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do this all day. Check me out on any topic. Now, right now, right now what I'm building on a uh, Kepra. Oh, shoot. All right. Right now I'm not building on anything because my phone is going dead. Let me see. Man, y'all, I hate to end this stream, y'all. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. It's all love. Since you do me a favor. Uh huh. That? At the end of this green road. <laughs> and could you. Follow the other people. Yeah. Could you unplug? You got to unplug the um the um, heater and just bring that whole multi outlet plug with the charger on it my bad y'all i'm getting the charge i'm getting the charge okay yeah rock out with us we rocking out 2020 y'all like that's the motto over here right now question everything rock out 2020 and i am you you know what i'm saying so anyway the word black is actually negro so he didn't want to use that word we see negro is a dirty little river in africa fly birdie peace salute great to have you up in here now we see let me see Okay, got the charger in. Let me see. Clink, clink, clink. Okay, we got the charger in, y'all. We heard it. Clink, clink, clink. Yeah. You see, look. Look how many comments up there. Um, and that's basically what it is. It's like I, I, the, um, this 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 live stream I actually had a, a, a topic for him, which was the word more, the word black, and the word Aboriginal. 
you know what I'm saying, and seeing which term was best for us. But usually what I do is just go live and do continuous builds, which is anybody could come inside the stream and ask me anything. You know what I'm saying? They could talk about any topic they want. If they want to talk about Jupiter, Neptune, Venus, whatever they want to talk about. If they want to talk about plants, if they want to talk about dirt, soil, if they want to talk about America, Japan, we talk about whatever. You get what I'm saying? Check me out. But, um, save rules apply, even though she hear it. I'm live right now. Could you please, um, do something, um, um constructive, please, kind sir? Okay. Your, your head did bring in my signal a little better, so I thank you for bringing in the, the signal better. All right, check me out. Check me out, y'all, for real. Now, he knew by bringing the term more, by him being a master etymology, do you, etymologist, do you think he didn't know what the term more meant? Do you think he didn't know that that term was just for a specific group of people at a specific geographical location in a specific time and era? Yes. What he was trying to do was take those bad, racist, ignorant terms they put on us. Black, Negro, colored, um, blacky, um, coon, those type terms. He wanted to wipe those out and put in a term that had meaning to it. See, when you look up more through history, you see some, you see conquerors, you see mighty conquerors, you see invaders, you see a group of people who had a common goal and a common destination they were trying to reach. You get what I'm saying? That's the purpose. Like, that's the only purpose of Noble True Ali giving us the title of more. That's facts. It wasn't about him saying, y'all are more. It's like, that's what y'all are. That's Nah. At that point in time, that day and era, 1913 AD, we were in a sunken place. We did not know ourselves. We were deaf, dumb, and blind, and he wanted to uplift his people. That's what the movement was all about, uplifting fallen humanity. You get what I'm saying? So look, let's fast forward to 2020. And you know, you know, the art movement, our culture started, uh, you know what I'm saying? What we got going on started way before then. You know what I'm saying? With the with the advent of Noble Drali, though, we got to pay homage to the ancestors. You get what I'm saying? They pay homage to Dr. Ben. Why are we throwing our Why are we throwing our master teacher under the bus? Just because that term more can't define us any longer. Just because we refuse to let that word define us, why are we throwing Noble Drew Ali under the bus? They're not doing Dr. Ben like that. They're not doing um, any of their master teachers. I'm talking about the Kemet, the, 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 the Kemet culture, the, the Kemet niggas. They're not doing their master teachers like that. They said wrong stuff. Dr. Ben said many wrong stuff. I read all Dr. Ben books as a child. You get what I'm saying? I've been reading Dr. Ben Yo Cannon. Um, what's the other guy, the bright skinned guy, the one that started the uh, the craft and all that? Like I've been reading these guys literature. I've been studying these guys, you know what I'm saying? And they're not the the Kemet culture isn't throwing their master teachers under the bus like we are. But we are. We're no Ali brung this culture. But I'm just saying, but we're not Moors. But just rock with me. Now, fast forward. What Nobu Ali died in nineteen twenty nine. No. Yeah, Noble Drew Ali died in 1929. He wrote the Moorish Holy Quran in 1927. The, the NOI was started. The NOI was started by two ex. Check me out. The NOI was started by two ex members of the Moorish Holy Temple of Science or the Moorish Science Temple of America. The, the Nation of Islam was started by. Master Farrard Muhammad, who we know as Wally Farrard, or Wallace Muhammad, Wally Farrard Muhammad. Anyway, the personages of Master Farrard Muhammad and by Elijah Muhammad, who we know as Elijah Poole Bay, and we know as um, Master Farrard to be Wallace Ford L. We know Master Farrard Muhammad to be Wallace Ford L. Greg, listen to L. Van Sertum, yeah, Ivan Van Sertum, E-L on the back of your name, and yet you're not in here saying, no, you teaching wrong, or no, woo, woo, 
You get what I'm saying? That lets me know you are intellectual. You get what I'm saying? You you are intellectual. You get what I'm saying? That's what being an intellectual is about. We look at it from an unbiased standpoint. We look at information. I'm a student of Noble Drew Ali, but that doesn't mean that I have to... You get what I'm saying? I'm looking at the history and seeing why. The who, what, where, when, and why. So just check me out. Now, Noble Drew Ali died in 1927. And, I mean, 1929, he wrote the Morris... Uh, Holy Quran in 1927 along with the questionnaire the one on one the uh, the questionnaire for Moore's children which is Moore's children means all the adults you get what I'm saying he wrote that questionnaire now, I'm just giving y'all a timeline 1913 AD the Moore's Holy Temple of Science later called the Moore Science Temple of America established No Ali born in 1986 Newark New Jersey that's established now let's keep going boom we got 1986 the the born the birth of No Jaw Ali we got 1913 AD at 27 years old, Noble Drew Ali creates the Moore Science Temple of America, or a group that's later to be called Moore Science Temple of America. Then we fast forward to 1927, where he wrote the Moore's Holy Quran and he wrote the uh, the questionnaire and the Constitution and Bylaws. Well, the Constitution and Bylaws were before 1927, but they are in court, concordance with the Moore's Holy Quran. But just peep this out. 1934, we have we have the event of the NOI by two ex Morris members, by two ex Morris Science Temple of America members. Now let's fast forward to 19. I mean, let's fast forward to 2020. Oh wait, wait, wait. In that timeline, we have 1965. The prophet said, investigate even the prophet. Yes, indeed. Question everything. Like that's where I get that from. Like questioning everything. I got that from Noble Dry Lee. When I say I'm a master etymologist, I got that from Noble Drew Ali. When I say that, um, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm confident enough that since I've been on YouTube and every video I've ever stated, in every video I ever been on, every live stream I've been on, I always said I'm a student of Noble Drew Ali, but I am not a more. And that's just because I understood that at that point in time, in that day and era, why he brought that. And I'm going to reiterate on that in just a second because I just broke that down, but I'm, I'm just going to timeline. 1934, you have the NOI coming. 1965, you have, you have the, um, the Nation of Gods and Earth, which are the five percenters, started by Clarence 13X, who we know as Clarence Smith? What was his name, Clarence? Anyway, we're going to call him by what he... They call him a lot of father, but his name was Clarence 13X who was a break off from the NOI and started the Nation of God and Earth. Okay, cool. We're keeping the timeline going. Cause I want to show people where this black, this term black, re-entered back into our consciousness awakening. Noble Drew Ali started the consciousness awakening among our people. He's the first person to come say, I am a comedic scientist. I am a comedic adept. I am a comedic priest. You get what I'm saying? Like, without him, there would be no... Shaka Amos. There would be no Sovereign Student City. There would be no Young Pharaoh. There would be no um, what's the other guy name? What I'm trying to say, the uh, the feminine guy, the bald headed one with the glasses. There would be no him. So anyway, look. So we got we established in a timeline. Now I'm gonna come back to that timeline because I want y'all to see where this word entered back into our consciousness because we had a we had a massive consciousness awakening in 1913 AD. We had never knew how to define ourselves. We had never knew that there was that we could even do it. My bad, y'all. This ain't no doobie. This um, cigar, y'all. Yeah, because I, when I be smoking, I, I know it look like I'm in here smoking big doobies. But I'm smoking a cigar, y'all. But, um, yeah. Okay, cool. We got the timeline set. Appreciate y'all rocking with me while I gather this. You know what I'm saying? This is a lot. Like, I don't have a computer or I'm not writing notes. You know what I'm saying? So, this whole timeline, I'm breaking down from the first word I said in this video to now. It's being processed in my mind. You get what I'm saying? And I'm bringing it back full circle for y'all. Now, check me out. And for those y'all that just came in, I explained about soapbox culture. How us now as YouTube content creators, we are just another... We're just revitalizing. We're revitalizing the the culture of soapbox teachers who used to go out in public places and get a crate 
an empty crate and turn it a milk crate or a soap crate and turn it upside down and stand on top of it and proclaim to the world how they see the truth. And that's how these groups and these nations and these tribes and different splits and divisions of our people started these these conscious communities and stuff, these Hebrew Israelites and all these people, the Dr. Ben Amis and things of these natures, the Father Times and these people, like, bless you, this is where they all come from. You get what I'm saying? From the soapbox culture. Okay. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sis. Uh, thank you, money love. Okay, now look. <laughs> so look, fast forward it back to 19, I mean, the 2020. What are we doing as a people right now? We're revitalizing our consciousness right now with this, with this, I hate to call it a movement, but with this reawakening of our culture by us. Oh, yeah, I said, look, I said that I'm making a comparison to right now in 2020 CE, Christian era or AD after death. But I like to call it Christian era. So 2020 CE, Christian era from 1913 CE, our people are in the same state of ignorance. We're back under the Roman yoke and law through words, through spells, where we're using titles and brands and things that denote slavery, which has been gone for years, which didn't exist in the way they say it did. You get what I'm saying? It really was indentured servitude. You get what I'm saying? So slavery existed for the Africans, a small group of Africans that did come. And we see their descendants and we can look at them right in the face and know like, hey, you're African, but hey, I'm Indian. You get what I'm saying? But now in 2020, so look, in 1913 AD, Nobu Ali pushed off all the brands, black, colored, Negro, coon. He pushed all that off. And he put in place that word more, which was just denoting, uh, which was just, I got to restate this, y'all. So I'm going to reiterate it right now. That the reason why Noble Drew Ali called us more is because he wanted to show the people that he wanted to give them something to, to, to make them love themselves. He wanted to give them something that they could respect and that they could feel good about, be proud of. He knew by being a master historian, he knew that the Moors had conquered things. He knew that the Moors were conquerors. They were um, invaders, that they were strong people that were all moving for a common cause and a common destination. So right now, what are we doing? In 2020, now we're grabbing a term that's already in use. Think about it. The term more was already in use. It came from 7-Eleven. Noble Drew Ali came with it way in 1913. Now we're doing the same thing in 2020. And when I say 2020, I mean this last decade. This last decade, y'all. From 20... I don't know how long y'all been researching the history and stuff, the culture, but I've been doing it since like 2011. So for the last decade... So when I say 1913, I mean that that whole decade that Noble Drew Ali was around from 1913 to 19, the whole two 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 and a half decades almost two decades. So um, 2020, in this last decade for our decade of revitalization of our culture, we're bringing the term Indian, which I wore with y'all know I didn't like that term because I it's just the same thing how we're not liking this term more. That's the same way I wasn't liking that term Indian. But now I accept that I use it because I see, I now see the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the term Indian. But it's the same exact thing. We're taking a term that already has use, definition, culture, a flag, a people, um, meaning, history, and we're applying it to ourselves. Do you get what I'm saying? We're doing the same thing Noble Drew Ali did. He just got a term that was already in use and applied it to our people to give them hope, inspiration, passion. A sense of pride you get what I'm saying like it's the same thing we're doing the same exact thing in a hundred years somebody gonna come and say man them niggas ain't Indians man we you get what I'm saying like that's what's gonna happen y'all that's what's gonna happen the more important things is making a comparison between Moors and Indians these two subgroups from the same person just like Abraham was the father of both Islam and the father of Hebrew I mean the, um, the Israelites just the same way that Abraham was the father of two different groups of mass religion right now. the Two of the biggest religions, because you can put Christianity over there with the, uh, the Israelite, I guess. You know what I'm saying? You got two different stems. You got Ishmael and you got Isaac. 
the same way, y'all. Like Noble Jr. Ali said right there in his in his literature, his literary writings, he said, "My mother was a was a Cherokee Indian." He said it plain as day. My mother was a Cherokee Indian. He said my father was a um, a so-called black person. He said a more. You get what I'm saying? So he's showing you that he's birthing. So it, 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 it was just a point in time when we were going to clash heads, two sons of the same father. Just like right now in the world on the macro. This is the micro. Remember, we're just the microcosm. We're just so-called blacks trying to find ourselves through history, trying to redefine ourselves. But on that's just the microcosm. But on the macrocosm, look at the world view, how Islam and Christianity are fighting right now today. How the Israelites and the Christians are fighting against Islam right now. But when you trace it all back, it comes to the same father, Abraham. Abraham was the father of Ishmael in, uh, in um, Isaac. Or, I mean, uh, Jacob, whoever, whoever Israel became. We know his name got changed to Israel. You know what I'm saying? So he was the father of, of Christianity and the father of Islam who are warring right now today and that's what I'm saying let's stop this war that we got going on right now because we're all coming from the same person nobody wants to admit it everybody wants to keep it hush hush that Noble Dr. Ali was the first person declaring that we were from this land that we weren't from Africa everybody wants to keep it hush hush you get what I'm saying everybody wants to keep it hush hush everybody wants to keep that hush hush y'all because a lot of these content creators I hate to say it they're gonna attack me and all that my grandmother full blooded blackfoot you get what I'm saying I hate to say this, but I got to say this. A lot of y'all favorite content creators in this Aboriginal community are quiet moors. But they came to the same realization that I did, that though Noble Dr. Ali was the master teacher and he was the father of both of these different movements, that the word more just doesn't define us. But they, they so scared to just get on here and just say that. I'm the only one out of this community that's always proclaimed Noble Dr. Ali as my teacher. You get what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a student of Noble Dr. Ali, and I, I got to admit it. Without him, I don't know etymology. Without him, I don't know history. Without him, I don't know um, anything. You get what I'm saying? I was able to study Christianity, Islam, um, Hinduism, Buddhism, because he, I could do it all from one little place and still have a core understanding that I wasn't a part of none of these religions and where they came from in the history and all of this. That's, that's the beauty of it. You get what I'm saying? Check it out. But that really, hey, really, y'all, now the stream open. Like, I just barely, I, I got to that bill. Oh, no, 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 I'm tripping, I'm tripping. How long we been in here? Two hours and four minutes. That's nice. That's nice. I'm starting back to get in rare form and back in stride. That's nice. That's nice. We had a consistent nine or more people in here the whole time. That's nice. Now, check me out. Check me out, y'all. Like, I'm going to stop joking and stuff. For those that don't know who y'all in the chat with, this Chief Sabi Indigenous, higher, higher, higher power back in the booth. Also known as Indigenous Realists. I'm still here, y'all. But check me out. So, where do we go from here? Now that we've seen the who, what, where, when, and how of the term more, we've seen the who, what, where. Okay, now we go back to black. Then we're going to get on this term Aboriginal. But, so right now we just we just barely in the first part of this we just in the first segment of this we we had to go through the who what where when and how of more but i also gave y'all a brief a very concise history of noble Dr. Ali in the process um yeah yeah hey uh look save not the doctor but the realist no time for the pictures I'm on the tube just building, and I grew up on the block with the killers, we was thugging it out. Trying to down a few rocks, yeah. Creeping like back in the ages. I never shot a 380, I'm trying to kill him, little baby. I was 11 when I got my first Glock. And I'm an Indian chief, yeah. And I'm pretty real proud of it. Except the Christ, he live inside of me. Even though I changed my life, I'm still just riding. Still ride around with the Glock. Call me black or African, guarantee little baby if I come to your lane You know I'm punching you out, Vega Bond in my city They used to love me like big, yeah But if I die they call me Pac, Chief and Seven, this, this and it's the realest If I smell smoke I'm fanning it out 
That's the only point I can get. I can't keep going. <laughs> Look. Me and my bestie just vibing. We in the charger just riding. She feel the consciousness inside me. And if I'm not around her, you know I miss her. I be fanning it out. She keep me calm when I'm angry. You know what she just say, man. If she wasn't rocking with me, I'd be right back with them stones. A big right on the block. I'm not green like the Hulk, yeah. Try me, I'm right at your throat, yeah. I'm indigenous, I ain't came across on the seas on the boat, and I'm. I got the dope in the drop. I'm out the east, not the south. Keep my name out the mouth. Freestyle it on that. Freestyle it on that. Uh, this is another one Damn, buy me a new gun I got another drum I made another nigga run Hop with another bomb Boom, it go kaboom when I be up with the sun I got Jody and Mari They're my sons Screaming, daddy is sorry Know I'm on my way and I'm about to come You know I'm on my way and I got about three guns One in the trunk and one in my lap One sitting right beside me You know that it's strapped and I be freestyling, I be like wild and no out, got the dope in the drought, got the goals in my mouth, not no more, stomp down on them, stomp down on them, yeah, you know what I'm saying, but I can't cuss and stuff, so yeah, I do be crazy, alright, yeah, I'm going up, a little freestyle, yeah.